guys. Today we're going to talk grape tomatoes. It's a yellowish one there, ready to turn red. I just picked a nice red one earlier. And it's not cherry tomatoes, the grape there. A little longer like a uh, regular grape. These are really tasty. They have a much stronger taste than uh, just your average cherry tomato. And these tall indoor grape tomato uh, plants, I planted these two buckets here just from one grape tomato cut in half. I cut it in half, didn't rinse any seeds or anything, just cut it in half, threw it in some soil and it took about uh, 10 or so plants come up from that one tomato and there they are and that was four months back maybe give or take who's really counting I guess and these things are five six feet tall already given me more than my share of grape tomatoes and they're still going and I bought the grape tomatoes organic right at the produce stand. Simply just took one tomato, cut it in half, then some soil, let it do its thing, and that was it. Saving seeds. So wait, today we're going to try that again. See if we can grow some more and show you how it's done. And here we have it. We got our four inch potter. Put a coffee filter in there, simple little thing to keep the soil from falling out the bottom holes. I'll add a little soil. Get a little start there. And I'll simply place this, got two hands, so cut the tomato in half a little mess but fine I have to cut the seeds too much it's in there you can see buried a little there they are place them up Bury it. And there you have it. We'll water it up. Check back in three or four weeks. See if we have any little uh, sprouts growing. Give it a try at home. See what you can do. This is just saving seeds. Take one tomato, cut it in half, throw it in there. See if you get a surprise. Good luck gardening. Thanks for watching. Wicked Pisser Garden.